uh, Zebra's wife from American Singer Aviary. And I just wanted to give you guys a brief little post. It's been a while since I've actually posted a video for breeding tips. Um, but this tip isn't necessarily about breeding birds. This tip is actually about how to be a better breeder. Okay, uh, one thing that a lot of times when you are dealing with breeding animals, and I've seen this with other breeders, not just bird breeders, but a lot of them um, over time develop some really bad health problems. Um, a lot of them get chronic degenerative illnesses. And I see like how these breeders put so much time and energy into their, their animals. They will buy the best supplements. They'll even hand make their own bird, you know, or their dog food. I am like, there's a dog breeder that she, you know, makes her own, she makes her dogs. It's a champion breed dog. And she makes the food like with whole chicken and with brown rice and whatever, but she puts all this time and effort into her dog's food, which is what makes her dog a champion breed. And the same with champion birds. You know, Ciro makes all of his food from hand. He uses lots of whole foods. He spends money on supplements to make sure that the birds sing the best, that they are healthy, they look amazing. And that's what's helped his bird, birds win shows. And the thing is, is that, you know, as breeders, and pet owners, we put so much time and energy in our animals and our pets to make them the best. But when do we ever think about doing that for ourselves as human beings? How often do you actually put a lot of thought and you know conscious time into preparing your food? Like the same effort that you put into the food for your birds. Do you actually prepare yourself, you know, meals based on whole foods and vegetables and fruits, you know, and fresh, you know, meats? And healthy foods, you know, and not so much carbs and breads and desserts and things that pack on the pounds and make us sick. Um, how many of us are spending our days drinking soda? Would you give your birds soda? No. Why? Because you know it's bad for your birds. So why are you drinking it all the time? You know, like a lot of times, you know, and I'm using you just like not necessarily you because you might not, but just saying as an audience in general. How many times we put our pets and our animals health above our own? And the thing is, if you want to be a healthy breeder, just like if you want champion birds and champion dogs or champion cats or whatever you breed, you have to put a lot of time and energy into that. And the same with your own body. If you want champion birds, you got to be a champion breeder. And if you want to be in this industry for a long time, you got to take care of yourself because if you get super sick, and this has happened, I've seen this happen with many other breeders, that they get really sick with some chronic degenerative illness and they have to sell off all of their animals because they don't have the health or the energy to take care of them anymore. So my message for you today is, don't just breed champion animals. Be a champion yourself. Make yourself a champion breeder by taking care of yourself. And that means exercising, you know, eating whole fruits and vegetables, supplementing when appropriate, and just making sure that your body is getting the proper, you know, you know, fitness and nutrition that it needs so that you can, you know, sing like a champ or you can breed birds like a champ or whatever, but that you have a long and healthy and happy life so that you can do what you enjoy for years to come. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.